welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing better than me <laughs> um okay i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep this video up i just felt like it was important um almost like for my safety to make this video and put it out there um my immediate like family knows and my close friends know um but i'm just kind of shook so i wanted to talk to you guys about something and maybe spread awareness in some type of way i don't know how i'm gonna just kind of tell you guys what happened and then i'll edit it out if it like doesn't make any sense but um hi welcome <laughs> if you are new to my channel my name is amanda kate i don't usually make videos serious like this but um there's something that happened to me so we're friday right now it happened wednesday so literally two days ago um and it's still very fresh like it's still a very active situation i have not contacted anyone like police or anything but i'm thinking if something else happens i will i just kind of want to make this video as like a psa almost to like just be aware of your surroundings be safe especially as a woman and i hate saying that because i just i don't want to categorize and it also happens to men and things like that but it's just it's very 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 prevalent in the female community if you will um this stuff happens all the time it's happened to me many times um it's just like i feel like girls and women go through so many dangerous situations that most men just wouldn't understand they they don't think from our perspective um and i'm just i'm generalizing for the sake of this video i know it's not everybody um but i as a woman have been taken pictures of i've been like followed around i've been stalked i've been followed to my car uh waited for at my car by complete strangers um it's just it's something that happens very often and it's very sad and it's very scary especially if it happens in your own home so i'm just gonna share with you guys kind of like what's happened so about two years ago i bought my dog gucci and i started walking him around my neighborhood and i had just bought my condo i was new i don't know anyone around here and i'm walking him and where i have to get my mail like my mail doesn't come i don't have a mailbox it comes to like those mailbox squares and then everybody has their mailbox in there so i'm walking him by there and i'm checking my mail so i start doing this as like a routine um different times of day i'm not very predictable like if you were to sit outside my house and like watch me i'm not very predictable like i come in at different hours i like my routine is just like all, all over the place mostly um but anyway so i'm walking my dog and this guy his condo is like right behind the mailbox and he is probably in his 50s i want to say um like mid 50s so literally over twice my age and he asked me he's like hi cute dog what's your dog's name and i said gucci and i didn't tell him my name i didn't get close to him i have not like approached him i don't know his name it ended there so and i mean gucci were like i'll show you guys gucci if you don't know him but he's a cutie patootie he weighs four pounds he's tiny he's he attracts a lot of attention like if i go out for a walk with him everybody wants to talk about him and talk to him and he's like and he's super friendly so this is not out of the usual regardless so i go into my condo everything's fine now it gets to like fall time winter i rarely take him out in the winter because he's so small and we have like minus 40 degrees celsius here so i don't usually take him out in the winter um so about like six months go by i don't see this guy and all of a sudden i start seeing him again i guess it's getting nicer out and i'm checking my mail and usually i would like drive home and check my mail and then come in so i get out of my car check my mail and he starts saying hi so I'm, hi like i say hi to people like it, i'm a nice person so that goes on he like nothing serious he says hi i say hi um usually he'll just wave from you know he's sitting there having a cigarette i'll just wave i'll wave nothing more than that and about six months ago so this is fast forward a year six months ago 
um, I get out and get my mail and I notice that this guy sits outside all the time especially in the summer I don't think he has a job um, I'm not sure how he pays rent because these are like pretty nice condos that's none of my business I don't don't care about that part but the point I'm trying to make is that he's always sitting outside all day long and especially in the summer he'll sit outside drink beer and smoke cigarettes all day which do you I'm that's your life not mine I don't care what you do but the way he positions himself at his condo building he doesn't sit outside of his he sits kind of like outside and around the corner and that's where he can see my condo and I didn't really clue into that I just thought he didn't want to sit right at his balcony but he kind of like moves his chair and I didn't really clue into this until about six months ago he asked me out on a date and I politely refused and I just made up I said I have a boyfriend but thank you and um I got into my car and I went home and then I kind of clicked in every other time that I saw him and this could be randomly like I'll open my blinds in the morning and it's like it could be 7 a.m. it could be like noon in the middle of the day I want sunlight I'll open my blinds whenever it is I've seen him standing outside on the other side of the street looking directly into my condo and this has happened multiple times um, and I've told like my family and friends that are close to me about this and just to have someone know about this and I think that's really important to have someone that um, you can tell these things to and is aware that this is happening just so that you know if anything happens god forbid knock on wood someone knows about it so um, this man knows where I live he knows my dog and he sits us on my condo which I thought he was like a harmless man like nothing you know so I left it at that um, I don't want to engage in conversations nothing so Wednesday um, I am at the restaurant with my friends and I get a notification on my ring camera which if you can afford a camera outside your home I strongly recommend it I have one outside and I have one inside as well uh, to watch Gucci mostly but it's just safety so I get a notification from my camera that there is someone ringing my doorbell and it's about 8 30 p.m and i'm like okay that's kind of weird maybe it's the neighbor maybe you know i don't know something happened like i'm gonna check uh because who's ringing my bell i'm not expecting anybody i'm not even home and it's this guy and he's standing outside my house and i will show you guys the video um but he's literally standing outside my house and he is drunk as a skunk and he's asking if the dog barking is Gucci. Now, I get notifications when there's a sound from my in indoor camera and there was no sounds. Gucci was asleep. Like when I leave, I had just walked in and he went to bed. I was out and I know for a fact he wasn't barking. Now he starts barking because he's making himself a little bed. He's barking now because you're standing at the door and you ring the doorbell. Like he's he's barking. Um, but that's not why he's here. He's he's asking if that's my dog to validate that he's at the right house but he knows where i live i have led lights like i'm very visible <laughs> i don't think i should be this flashy but i'm very like if you know my condo like you know my condo and he knows where i live like he's he, he knows where i live so he's there and then my friend gets on the mic on like my ring camera app and she starts telling him to leave and i don't think he expected like a deep manlyish voice um, so I think it scared him off a little bit, but I'm just making this, um, to kind of expose this and just spread awareness, I guess, just to be aware of your surroundings and just be careful and, um, just always be aware of your surroundings. Now, I also have like self-defense tools. I carry a thing on my keychain. Um, if you go on my TikTok, you'll see it. I talked about it. And I'm just always aware of my surroundings, you know, always get into your car and like lock the door and walk around your car before you get in. And there's just so many things happening right now in the world. The world is a crazy place. So I just kind of wanted to make this and spread awareness. Um, so I'm sorry, this was like a somber video. The situation is still ongoing. Like this man still lives here. This was two days ago. Um, I just kind of want to put it out there. So I'm sure everything will go well you know if not there are people i can call 911 <laughs> um but yeah get a camera if you can afford it definitely invest 
um, in your safety. Stay safe out there, you guys. And I don't know what you're doing right now, but uh, if you can leave my property, that'd be great. Sorry. Oh. High five, turn around and walk away, brother. Okay, I don't know who you're coming to visit, man, but you're at my property. Have a great night. Is a dog Have a good night. Sorry. Yeah, that's fine. Is a do is the dog's name Gucci? It's me, Ted. Sorry. I'm just wondering if that's Gucci. Hey guys, so I just kind of wanted to give you an update on the situation. Um, so I filmed that on last Friday, um, and that night after I filmed that, I was speaking to family members and friends who recommended me to call the police and get like a report filed just so that there's something out there in case he like does it to someone else or maybe there's like he has like previous things like that that he did um so just to kind of have a report and not like necessarily charge him with anything because there's nothing criminal right now but just to have something out there um so i did and i spoke to a police officer um and there was a report that got filed so i just want to i guess update you guys and always advocate for yourself and if you feel unsafe make sure that someone knows and yeah just be careful and don't be nice to everybody <laughs> because some people interpret it differently um and i think i'm going to remember that going forward so on that note i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video